Because both of them, well, especially Jamie Cavan, you've got to say that he really has showed a lot of bottle in his last three games. You know, to take out Jenkins, you know, in a decider. Then the last game, he, you know, takes Phil Taylor to the last leg. First leg, Jamie to throw first. Game on. Well, Cavan wins the all important bullseye. I have to say, the crowd over the last two days has been a great crowd, and they've, they've had a feast of darts. 100. Yes, we have seen some fantastic matches here in Salzburg this weekend. And there are two more to come with the semi-final and the final. And uh, as you say, Caven knocking out Phil Taylor with an 11 darter in the deciding leg. And uh, likewise, Peter Wright 53. hitting an 11 darter in the 11th leg of his match over Wes Newton in the quarter-final. 60. And there'll be a break of around about 15 or 20 minutes uh, between the semi finals and the final just to let the players uh, get their breath back. I'm sure Vincent van der Voort is already just relaxing before uh, hitting the practice ball one last time 100. ahead of the final. Do you know, we've, we've hardly talked about Vincent, really, uh, as a contender to win it. He's come in under the radar, and it's possibly because that side of the draw um, didn't have any top-ranking seeds, and what did went out early. So, you know, all the talk has been about this half, because of Phil Taylor and Peter Wright, Terry Jenkins, Jamie Caven. You know, and we've not dismissed by a long shot. Vincent van der Voort because he's playing exceptionally well and he will give if not beat whoever wins you know out of these two 18 Jimmy requires 72 so tops for Jamie Caven for a 1-0 lead 52 Peter requires and it is double top that uh, Peter Wright also needs for an early break of throw, and the yes, first, the first leg, leg. to Snakebite. And yes, during that break before the final, I'll be digging the reference books out just to see when uh, Vincent van der Voort last reached a uh, final of a 44. PDC event. Well, it must be a long time ago, Mike, because normally I can remember things and I can't remember that one myself, so it's a good few years. But he has been in a good rich vein of form over the last few months. I'm sure Michael Van Gerwen sitting at home will be shouting for Vincent. They're very good pals. They travel all over the place together. Perhaps Vincent, if he does win it, will buy Michael a, a little drink for not turning up. <laughs> Or perhaps go and kick him a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> yes, twenty thousand pounds for the winner, eight thousand pounds for the runner-up. Michael won the second event of the year in the European Tour on home soil in Veldhoven. And a good 101. So the first two Come legs on. going against the uh, throw. Well, if I'm not mistaken, Jamie Caven took out, was it a 101? To start his run of four ton plus checkouts. Or was it 104? Anyway, it was over the 100, I know that. 140. And Peter Wright, he's been on a great run as well, hasn't he? Reaching that uh, World Championship final at Ali Pali at the start of the year. 100. Making his Premier League debut and just missing out on making the semi-finals there. He has won a Players' Championship uh, floor event in Crawley. 16. Back in March where he beat uh, Justin Pipe, who we've enjoyed having in the commentary box with us this weekend, but 
114. He would rather be uh, still up there uh, on the stage playing, I'm sure. We'll see him again on stage in action in Gibraltar next weekend. Yes, I can assure you he would rather be up there playing, or Justin would. And it's ironic that uh, in the World Championship, Peter Wright had to play Michael Smith after coming off beating Phil Taylor and had a great game. And again, in this tournament here, he takes on Michael Smith after him throwing 114 average and took the game to the young man. And Peter Wright takes out the 68. And that's three, breaks the throw. Neither of these two players had 92. won a game in the opening three European Tour events until this weekend. 16. With the seeds coming in at the second round stage of these events. 29. And we saw a hell of a lot of seeds tumble out in that second round. 140. Well, he was a bit more precise with those three darts, was Peter Wright. The speed was a lot slower. So we've seen this taken out once today by Jamie Caven against Stephen Bunting. So for a possible 14 uh, data, and he's double 16. Jamie, you require 101. Again, that last dart of Jamie's at the 25. I don't understand that, although he is going to get a dart at the double. That double being double top took this out earlier on. Perhaps that's why he left the 101, because he was confident of taking it out of again. But. Um, he went for the 25 to leave the 101, where, in my opinion, he should have gone for a treble to leave under the 101. Would have left a two-dark combination oh, instead of the three. This time, it didn't matter. However, when we talk about percentages, the percentages will not be in his favour doing that too often. 43. Yes, I mentioned the Gibraltar Darts Trophy next weekend. And uh, then next month in July, 72. we'll see a lot of these guys at the uh, World Match Play in Blackpool. Always a good week in the sunshine by the seaside. 16. Yes, a lovely old arena is the Winter Gardens. 177. Certainly sent a lot of famous people on that stage. And finally, are we going to see a throw? What a Held. So 52 double top for Caven. That's a bit wild. Oh, and they am too. Those two were not close. So that 180 has given Peter Wright a massive chance here. Looking at the 57th treble 19. 12 for the bullseye. Hasn't even flirted with the treble 12. Jamie requires 20. Game shot on the fifth leg. Jamie Taylor. Six leg is beaten as real fast. Game on. So just for a hold of throw then. Maven goes 3 2 up in this first to six. Format the same uh, for the final as well. It's just a best of 11 leg match. 125. Mm 
140. Well, the pace of the game again suits both players. They haven't got to stand back and wait and start oh, thinking yeah. about, you know, what they've got to do is just straight up there, autopilot. You know, both players walk back. They haven't got to wait too long to get back to that hockey. And whoever they, one of these plays, the final will be exactly the same, obviously. Van der Voort, the quickest player in the game, and he could easily slow his throw down to a blur at times. <laughs> 133. But yes, they, whoever gets through will enjoy playing against Vincent. 85. I'd imagine playing against Vincent is like practicing on your own because time you get back, it's time to come <laughs> forward again. In front of the six line. Well, a good strong leg from Peter Wright holds on to his throw. So now we're getting down to the nitty gritty, the business end of this game. Peter Wright is going to have to break the throw if Jamie Caven is to, if he's to win and make that final place against the big Dutchman Van der Voort. 97. And another maximum comes flying in from Peter Wright. His second of the match. 42. Well, certainly the power scoring is being led by Peter Wright. Two up on the one eighties, four up on the one forties, although Coven has scored the one seventy one plus. One hundred PG one hundred and twenty one. Ninety seven. JB require one hundred and twenty two. So 104 left. He wants the bullseye now. 91. BG Aguirre 24. Discretion said it all. Long way off, so now Peter Wright for a break of play. Team shot on the seven flag. Peter Wright. A flag is Cleveland to the first. Game on. Yes, an important uh, break of throw from Snake Bite. 60. As he looks to book his place in tonight's final against Vincent van der Voort. 140. Jamie, you require 164. He's going to get 60. 81. He will be back uh, for the 83 with Wright unable to finish, but Wright could put some pressure on the shot here. Needs the treble, really. 16. Doesn't get one. Jamie, you require 83. So to immediately break back, the man from Derby. At uh, 83. Now, what is the bullseye? BG you require 112. So, this would put him one leg away from victory and a place in the final. He wants double 16 for the match. 96. Or rather, sorry, for the. To put him one leg away from winning the match, but. Double 12 now for Caven. 
and gets it. So we are all square again at four apiece. Well, four legs apiece. When we said at the beginning of the game it was going to go all the way. And it looks exactly like it's going to go. And another 180 comes in from Peter Wright. Yes, it's just a best of three match now, effectively. 100. Certainly hotting up now this game. A final place beckons right or Caven. Uh, Caven needs to find a couple of trebles, needs the 134. That puts one the pressure on. Brilliant four. switch from Jamie Caven. Jamie's really got to hit this you feel. Double 16. And yeah, he, you can see how much he realises that meant winning that leg. Well, one dart at the double for Peter Wright to break the throw. I was going to say, would that upset him a bit? The answer to that is absolute not. He really has come firing back. Well, now it is blow for blow. Caven one leg away from a final against Vincent van der Voort. Well, there we have it, where sometimes the averages don't tell the true story. Nice smile there. That uh, could be costly. That poor visit to the board. 100. So it looks like yet again we're going to an 11th and deciding leg, and 100. Jamie Cave must be getting used to that now. He's had to get over the finishing line. In a deciding leg for every one of his matches played so far this weekend here in Salzburg. And Wright will be back double 18. So a great time to bang out a 180 to put some pressure on the shot. That's a great marker. And so is that. Well, he walked on both of those. He thought they were both in. Needs to put this one in though. Oh, again. Peter um, magnificent dart from Peter Wright. I mean, he literally walked over the hockey on both those first two. We are five all. We are down to the deciding leg. Who is going to throw that 11 dart leg and meet Van der Voort in the final? The Austrian darts open here in Salzburg. One Well, certainly been no let up in the quality of the matches as the heat rises in this Salzburg arena and these players have been here for some good few hours and whoever gets to the One final will be playing their fourth match of the day. Well, both players have hit four trebles out of their first six darts and the first slight mistake from Jamie Caven, but with having the throw first, the pressure is on Peter Wright, and that opens the door for Jamie Caven. Now he's got six starts from 147. Don't miss the big numbers. Just needs one treble, otherwise, well, it's exactly what he's hit. He's going to get two darts to wrap this semi-final up, and all Peter Wright can do is hit the big score and put the pressure on. Done that absolutely perfectly. He wants double top for the match and he gets it. 
He went around the houses to get there, but he's through to the final of this Austrian Open. He will take on Vincent van der Voort in around about 15 or 20 minutes. Go and make yourself a nice drink. Plump up your cushion. I'm sure we're in for a fantastic final between Caven and van der Voort. That's